And we're live. Camera's filming. Mic is working. It's a good day so far. <laughs> Hi. My name is Jeff Brayman, as you could probably tell. And the reason I'm bringing that up is that I have been doing a series of videos here on Facebook. And a lot of my family and friends have been watching this and giving me great support. And one of the things I'm going to start doing is as I'm now recording these, I'm going to put them onto YouTube so that people can watch them there as well. And when I get enough on YouTube, I'll be able to uh, stream to both platforms at the same time, which to me is very exciting because I get more exposure uh, to show people what I do and what I can't do. And so to that end, for those people who are watching me for the very first time, or watching on YouTube for the very first time, a little introduction. My name is Jeff Perryman. Again, clearly, I'm a artist, can you tell? <laughs> My background is in video game art. I have done everything from modeling, to texturing, to rigging, to animation, to level design, and environmental art, and everything in between. And that's where my passion lies. Uh, I'm also a cartoonist, which is an even greater passion, which is why I'm working in the software I'm working in today, and working on the projects that I'm working on today. Um, I generally work in uh, Animate, which is uh, what Flash became. But I've also work in 3D Studio, uh, which is my 3D software of choice. This is a, just a little, um, geez, it's only 208 polys, that's pretty high. But um, this is a tower for a tower defense game that I was working on for myself at one point. So I do work between the different mediums being a video game artist. But that is not the point of today. That is just a point of introduction. I mean, I have worked on video games and creating my own comics. Uh, I sell art of characters at the different um, conventions I go to. That's really hard to see because of the glare. I have it so dark in this room. And if it weren't for the, the, the blinds and things that I have up, I'd be as... I mean, I look like a... Van Theer right now. I look like a vampire at the moment. And I would be day glow if the light coming in from the windows were to come in. So uh, please excuse the glares and things. I'm still working out the lighting. I'm working out my sound. I might be speaking too too softly. I'm not sure. Um, we'll, we'll see. But I have don't have googly eyes on my camera, but I do have a pair of eyes that I am finding that I drift to naturally, which is really nice. Today we are going to work on Dink. Boric and Friends. We're going to continue our work on the Dungeon Oak comic. Uh, I have not done too much more from the last time that we were here, just simply because I wanted to share the experience with everybody. And apparently, there we go, zooming was not an issue. So. I see that we have some people who are popping in and out. It's good to see you. I'm glad you're all here. I don't see any chats coming in. I don't know if they're just not, uh, or you guys are just exceptionally quiet today. I mean, Tuesday mornings are kind of rough. Oh, good morning. So you can hear me. Good morning, Sam. Uh, this deck is working like a dream. So far, so good. I have been given a early birthday present by my friend Sam Boston. Oop, just drinking coffee, yes! And I'm getting double posts still. I get double posts. It's real well, at least this way it catches my attention. Uh, I have a stream deck now. He was kind enough to get me uh, as an early birthday present, and it has been an amazing device. It is uh, definitely making this a lot slicker of a project. Uh, setting up sound, and setting up the ability to switch between the different scenes that I have is definitely made a difference, but that is not why we're here. Today, we are going to work on this guy right here. And I'm gonna kind of focus on him and hopefully not get distracted. I don't see a Brandy in here, so, so far so good. <laughs> yeah, didn't he do great? He, uh, he definitely caught me off guard with it. I was not expecting it, so. 
Anywho, let's work on this right here. Let's open up a reference, which should be already open. And for those of you who watch these streams kind of know, I get in here and I draw a character, and then I basically trace over the character. It works. <laughs> So I've kind of got him started. He's in grays. We're going to work on the body. And as you can see, I don't need to draw too much more of him. He uh, is behind a bar. He's at an angle. So I just need to basically work on this hand, this hand, a little bit of this elbow, work out what's going to be seen through the map that he's holding, and kind of go from there. So I think the simple, the low-hanging fruit here is to be working on this finger. So one, two, three, four fingers. Okay, that's five, so I need a third finger down here as well. And I don't like the shape of this finger, so we're just going to get in here and kind of manhandle the finger. Might actually turn that backwards. That's a good shape. And we'll take that, smooth it just a titch. That's a, that's a technical term, whoops, titch. Let's bring that down here. Going to make it just a hint. Expect the unexpected, no doubt. No doubt. It was wrapped in black paper, I thought it was a bomb. <laughs> I think he was making a statement on my age. Let's get some fingers going on here. I hate that they've moved a couple of my hotkeys. And I know I could probably go in there and fix them. I say it every time I do it. I need to go in there and fix it. I never do. So let's do that. And then we're going to have biggest overlapping smallest. Not a bomb. Dub bomb. Yes. It is a rather amazing piece of kit. Now, I'm going to find the layer that the map is on, and I'm going to stick his thumb behind the map. So I'm going to insert a layer called thumb. After a while, you start working in layers. Okay, these are fingers. Uh, this would be the his left, but our right. And this hand over here needs some work at some point, but we're going to focus on this one. So the thumb is going to be really easy. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is, whoops, get the color from, okay, escape. Let's not do that. Let's do this then. Ha ha! And then we don't want it to fill. We're going to drag an oval down. We should be on the thumb, so hopefully this will be behind the fingers. And we just need it. It doesn't have to have any particular shape, so circle will do the job. We'll kind of mush it up just a little bit. Do that. And do that. Now, for those of you who want have some fun watching a bunch of dirty pirates giggle and game and kill pixels or get killed by worms. On Wednesdays, typically around 8 o'clock, uh, Pantsless Pirates Gaming, which is also on Facebook, will be doing a live stream. I know they're doing one tomorrow, doing a live stream tomorrow. Uh, and I think the game is going to be Worm.io. I'm not sure. Sam, you can correct me on that. But you can follow um, Pantsless Pirates Gaming on Facebook, or you can follow Captain Greybeard on Twitter, I believe. If I got that wrong, you can correct me. And just uh, get some giggles and grins watching shenanigans aboot. Um, I'm not able to join them as often as I like, but there we go. Pantsless Gaming. And... Yes, so fun. Yes, it is fun. Uh, I personally prefer the Knights playing WoW when I can join, but that's not been often lately. So, 
All right. Kind of have a thumb thing going on there. I'm kind of... What in the world? Why is there a chair? A ghostly chair just off stage? What was I up to? I'll never tell. All right. So we kind of have the hands kind of roughed out. And just so I don't get too confused with what's going on, I'm going to grab that color and fill these guys in. And then I think with the map, I do everything in grays to start with. Uh, ch 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 tink. And then we'll go with just something a little lighter to go here, here, and here. And then the lightest color, because I have my light coming in from the upper um, right of the screen, which is the same color as the thumbs right now. But that just kind of helps a little bit. Give me an idea of what I need to draw and what I don't need to draw. So we're going to go back to the scene. Just kind of look at it and see what we like. In case I want to sit down, I, mean, I have to draw the rest of them to do that. <laughs> and we're cutting him off. Of, we're, I mean, he's been drinking way too much. It's time to cut him off. Just right there at the waist. It's a, it's a harsh world I live in. All right. So... We need to put some fingers here. We need to put a thumb there. We need to put a map tucked into the hand. I have a conflict with my IP. I really hope that that does not mess with the stream. If you're seeing an interruption, oop, I saw a flash. If there's an interruption in the stream, please let me know. I saw it flash, so I'm not sure. But uh, I'm going to continue on because I want to get this comic out, you know, before I'm 80. And at this rate, it's going to take me until I'm 80 to do it. All right. So now I'm going to work on this. Oops. Didn't want to do whatever that was. I'm going to work on this hand here. And I also want to kind of look at the body. So I'm probably going to have to click there. Click there. Let's hide everything but the body. Let's see what I need to do. It's not going to be pretty, but I think we've got this. I'm going to take a black line and do this little thingamajobber there. And I don't need a lot of detail. I just need to have enough to fill uh, when I go to put the shirt color on as well as these cuffs. So I'm just going to just make sure there's enough to work with here. A short interruption. Okay, just a little boop. That was that. I'm hoping. And then I'm going to put a circle. Whoops, don't want that. I want an empty circle. Just over here where the elbow would be. Kind of intimate the shirt. And it looks like garbage here, but should give me a nice effect when it's all layered properly. All right, so we're gonna do that, and then I'm just gonna do that because it's convenient. And make the back side of that cuff. There we go. And just draw that line in. Like I said, with the fingers and the map and everything, you're really not going to see any of this that well, I'm hoping. But I do need to be able to go because this hand is going to go on a different layer now. So copy that. Get rid of. Get rid of it. Go ahead and drop what I've got below the bar. And then I think I have a left hand. Oh, I have right fingers and a thumb. I think that the left hand will take precedence over that. And we'll just mock it up and... Hello? Hello, my name is Peggy. How are you? 
give me social security number and uh, last digits of mother's maiden name. I don't know, making stuff up. All right, uh, let's put that. Did I even copy it? Keeps putting me on that reference. I want to be here. Thank you. Ooh, okay. You can be like that. See how I, I see how you are. All right. I know this game. Now you won't let me. Ha ha! Paste in place. That's all I wanted. Oh my goodness. My connection makes you sound like Max Hedron. <laughs> In fact, I, that we all know that reference, and it's probably not your connection, it's probably mine. When I'm uh, in meetings at work, they'll complain that I, I sound like uh, a Decepticon sometimes, so as long as I'm not stu stu stuttering, we're okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, there's only two of you in here. My career is off to a banging start. <laughs> All right, let's, let's hide that real quick. Oops, not that one. That one, I want to see. What was I drawing? Okay. So what I want to try to do is let's use a different color. Just kind of... No, not you. Good grief. Yes. Now, let's try another color. And let's emulate what we've got going on here. Just a little bit. See if I can get the same look and feel from the sketch, which I didn't really complete. But that's okay. It's for the computer, right? Now I'm going to move this out of the way, which is why I'm using different colors. I can affect when the lines intersect and they're the same color, then wherever they touch, they, they'll they bend. The beziers will bend, but if I don't, then I can have them bend. Uh, the important two. Yeah, well, yes, you are the important two, duh. I'm just saying, I'm off to a, to a great start for my career <laughs> as a YouTuber. Well, I'm not on YouTube yet. I'm a, I'm a Facebooker at this point. But in time, all of this will be. All right. So there's that, and I'm going to borrow, because that's what I do, bits, and drag them out, make them a little bit smaller, just like I did with the other fingers, and I hope this works. It's not quite what I want, but it'll get me where I'm going, and we're going to do that again. Oops, wrong one. Again, that, that shortcut, man, gets me every time. I can work in this thing 30 hours a day, and I would still... I know, there's only 24. I'm not that bad at math. But I would still have problems. Alright, that's not so bad. Put that there. Actually, let's turn this just a hair. Get the effect I'm after. There we go. That's much. That's more better. -er. Ru -ru -ru -ru. Ru -ru. Get rid of some of those. Let's fluff some of these fingers out just a little bit. in there somewhere. All right, so that's a good start for the fingers. Let's see where the map is in relation. 
So that's not horrid. Then I'm going to put the thumb behind the map. But actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be lazy. That. Oops. That is more than I wanted. That is a much larger eraser than I remember. Oh my. Let's bring that down just a little bit. There we go. That's all we need. Take that. Make that go away. We'll make that go away. And then we will make the whole thing one solid color just so we can make sure we're paying attention. How is everyone doing out there? Can you hear me well enough following along? I know some of you are working and are just listening to the methodic tone of my voice as it makes you drift away into work time slumber. <sighs> Alrighty, let's grab this, let's give it a little smoothing, because some of those edges are a little hard. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's go ahead and stick some gray there. Let's unhide everything. And let's unify everything, just so I can get a better idea of what I'm looking at. that and then let's see well I hope the shirt's going to work we're about to find out and I'm doing this before I do the colors that way I know everything is going to a smooth well um, yep here you find Lori says, amazing, doing great, fantastic day, sounds good, occasionally an echo, not bad. And Sam says he's not getting an echo. So, so far so good. And no googly eyes, but pieces of tape with, let me see if I can show you guys, this is funny. Oop, it fell down, hang on. There you go, I have little eyes on my shutter. And so I look at those, so I'm looking at you. <laughs> All right, so the body is not completely closed, otherwise it would have uh, filled when I tried to fill it. So there's an, an opening somewhere along where these, these joints touch. Well, I could spend some time trying to figure out what the heck's going on, uh, or if I can find it in this version of the software. Okay, uh, oh, here it is. It used to be a circle set, so made it a little bit easier to spot. We're going to try to close medium gaps, and that was enough. It's not the color I wanted, but that's enough. And that's enough here. And of course, this is the supposed elbow, and then that's the short. And then I'm going to make a slightly custom gray just for purposes of keeping everything definable. And then, of course, the skin color, I think, is this one. Sure, why not? And then let's unhide everybody. And I think I need to manipulate this quote-unquote elbow a little bit. That's not working for me. So, let's see what's going on here. Let's, whoops. All right. Mess that, mess around with that. I think that and let's stretch it just a little bit so it looks a little more arm like. There. That'll work. And now let's hide everything but the body. And let's just fix that mess I just made. Which is not too bad. These are all behind the scenes, so it doesn't really matter too much. 
and let's take a look at them in the scene. That arm does just, it's just not satisfying. And I think it's because I've drawn the cuff way too small, so I'm going to fix that. Uh, let's make sure my chat stays scrolled. And thank both of you for staying with me today. Let's get in here. And let's see what we can do. That's just not working for me. And let's just, everybody but the body, I'm gonna close all this off. Get rid of all of this. There we go. And I'm gonna fill that. And it's just not really, I'm just not feeling this elbow. I should quit being lazy and just draw it. So let's get rid of all that. Actually, I don't really need to. His arm could be tucked here. So let's. Charge it! Okay. Or maybe not. Alright, I've got to think about this. Think his elbow. Doesn't need to stick out that much. And just kind of play around with it here. Boy, if this was a job interview, I'd be blowing it left, right, and center, huh? Let's take a look here. I don't like that. Like I said, I'm just trying to be lazy, which is causing me more issues than I'm solving. There we go. There, that's a little better. I think I like that more. Gotta put that cuff in there. I like that though. Uh, sitting and watching an artist draw is kind of like watching paint dry. Occasionally you'll get a good story out of them, but usually not. All right. I think I like that a little better. Let's just make sure it's all connected so I can fill it. I don't really care about that. Let's get this color, fill this, and then I'll get this color and fill that, and then we will unhide everything. And that's a little... Uh, Ah, <laughs> it's just not right. Uh, let's throw him back into the scene, and it may or may not matter. It's just enough to hint, and I may massage that later. I think maybe that angle needs to be down. But for purposes of this video, that is going to be just fine. I may be fussing with something that doesn't need to be fussed with. So let's lock everything, go up to the left hand. Speaking of fussing. I, no, I, never satisfied, never finishes anything, abandons it. Um, and actually I probably should do this to the map, the fingers, and the thumb. Because I'm bouncing things to one side. It's going to affect all of them. Okay, thumb to here. There we go. And that's why I overdraws, in case I need to nudge things around. Alright, let's take a look here. Do-do-do-do-do. Just probably doing it the hard way, but 
There we go. I kind of like that. Let's go back a page or two. And let's start playing around with skin. So we're going to grab that color for now. And go back into here. And let's start messing with stuff. I said, let's start messing with stuff. There we go. And let's just change that color. Keep overshooting. All right, this one gets a little more difficult. I've established certain colors over the years for certain things for my characters. It's kind of nice because then I can just go in there and do what I'm doing now. Just kind of grab the right colors and go there. So now we're starting a color pass. We're going to go, I think we should have a helm. And you can see things moving above uh, me. You can't see the list of objects that I'm going through. These are all the bubble, text bubbles and things that are in this comic. The rooms, swords different sound effects, objects, and what I'm looking for is Boric. Usually, he may not be a, a separate object. I may have to go in there and get it, which I think is what I'm going to have to do. So, we're going to go over. We're going to go back over to here. We're going to go over a page. We're going to go back over to here. I'm so deep into this thing, it's not even funny. All right, now let's zoom out a little bit so we can see what's going on. Dink, dink, dink. And always overdraw just in case you <laughs> move the layer. Yes, yes, I do. Because <laughs> you've seen it happen. <laughs> All right, so this is also a right handed. Is this a right handed one? Is this a left handed one? Yeah, this is a right handed one. Just because I have the right hand side unlocked, it's easier to just access something that's over here so I get the right colors. And what I'm after right now is his skin tone. That should be it. So let's go back out. And there's going to be a lot of me going back and forth and just grabbing colors. making him look not so gargoyly because you know he's a he's a garboily this is the a material guys I, I quit now if you don't want to hear more <laughs> and we're going to mess around oh that's right F it's been a while since I've actually messed around in here there we go and then go ahead and get that so it's spun correctly. Just make sure. Yes. And. All right. A li little more fleshy. Not quite there yet. Let's go back out. We need to draw some shadows. To do that, I need to get my shadow color, which should be on this page. This is not a gradient, so I don't have to worry about it. All right. Dink. Dink. And this will help, hopefully, define him a little better. All right, we're in the right spot. And how's everyone doing out there doing a health check? You guys okay? For those of you who are watching this after the fact, 
I take commissions and I work on several projects. The next thing that I'm going to do will be a commission piece. I've gotten permission to work on uh, my next commission here. Oh good, everyone's doing great. And it'll be fun because I'll be drawing people's uh, D&D characters or I'll be drawing some D&D style characters. What's important is the weapons, not the characters themselves. So it was kind of a fun little challenge for me and I'm looking forward to it. So for now, we're going to finish up with Dungeon Notes, but the next live stream, yes, the next question mark live stream uh, should be the start of that commission. Now I know December 7th, which is a Tuesday, there will be no live stream. I have um, some medical things coming up and I just need to get them out of the way. So there will not be a live stream on December 7th, uh, which is Pearl Harbor Day. So with that in mind, I'm really excited about starting this, this commission piece. It'll be fun. Once I get these sketches approved, we're going to be good. All right, going back to what we're doing, we are doing shadows. And the first thing I always like to start with is this tomato-shaped nose, which is round. It's a sphere. Sphere, whoops. Spheres have very distinct shadows. I'm going to turn that green so we don't accidentally do something. And we're going to go and put a shadow there. Oop. I'm going to copy my green circle. I'm going to go down to the face. And I'm going to paste that. Well, oop. this reference does not want to play well with others. All right, so let's lock the reference. And let's paste that in place and then let's move it so that it mirrors what's going on around the nose. Pink. And then I can get rid of that. And then I'm going to grab the head and do the exact same thing because it's a big sphere too. Oops. And this adds instantly just a little bit of dimension to this guy whose name is Boric. Bork Mahali Maharish Yogi. I was in high school. Don't judge. He was my first real D&D character that I really enjoyed playing. And he got to be known as Bork the Bar Brawler because he would fight, start fights very unintentionally because this character, we used pickpocket to see if I could swipe someone's drink. I could steal drinks day in, day night. I, look, take their drink. Look, they're looking at me, take their drink. Nothing happened. I got to pick a pocket. You would have thought I broke the seventh seal. Oh my. So, the Grand Adventures of Bork started. He never stood a chance. <laughs> All right. I'm happy so far with what we've got going on here. I'm not sure how I want to do uh, this hand just yet because I'm not sure about the map that they're holding, but I can grab these, and these are going to be used in a couple of ways. Okay, so I'm going to lay down some cartoon sheeting right here. And then the fingers above cast shadows. So we're going to lay down a little underfinger shadow. And that, well, not too happy with that. Let's do this. Aha. There. Eh, not great, but it does the job. And then for this little guy, oops. I think we are going to need a little, just a little round, but not that much. Well, maybe more than I'm thinking. Again, if I get too quiet, just let me know. And drop this in here. Do that right there. Yeah, that'll work. Not the greatest, but it will work. Um, all right, so now we're coming to this hand. 
And this hand's going to be a little more complex. Let's get some stuff going on here. And I think I want, do I want that line to carry? Do I like that line like that? Let's do that for now. No, I don't like that, no. All right. So I'm going to get out. Oop, oop, got to reach. Oop, I'm going off camera. I know. Because uh, my stylus fell over. I'm going to get my stylus and move some things around here a little bit. And I'm going to just kind of think about. So it's behind this. So the light's going to be coming in from that direction. So, I mean, the hand's not going to be completely in shadows, but I think enough, let's see, it's a 0.5. Yeah, let's do that. I know they don't look great right now. All right, so and then I can go bloop, 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 bloop. Yeah, I knew I was going to have to fix that. So let's fix that. And bloop. All right, so let's put this away. I tend to mouse more. Uh, just simply it's faster in some cases, but when I need to draw something, having a stylus, oops, wrong thing, is the best thing in the world to have. And now what I'm doing is I'm getting rid of all that green stuff. And let's see how that looks. I'm probably going to come back and adjust this a million times. Let's see all that working is not even going to get seen. <laughs> okay. Uh, story of my life. All right, so it's a good start there. Let's flip over a couple of pages. Let's get a rough hair color, just enough to fill in. And then let's just toss that in for a moment. Let's kind of give them a little further along. And then I'm going to hide everything but the helm. Something about the helm, it's always special. I don't know why. It's it's just it's the quintessential quintessential piece of his equipment. And I always make sure it's shiny and it's always the same colors and it's always got, you know, similar highlights on it. And it's probably not the best way to do this. But what I'm going to, oops, I'm in the scene. I'm going to go over to, ish, there we go. I'll pop this open, I'm, this is a gradient, and then I can get the rest of these colors uh, the old fashioned way. I don't have to go into the brush or whatever. I forget what these objects are called um, inside of Animate. All right, so that's where we're at. So I want that color, which is a gradient. I'm gonna grab that gradient, and we're gonna run over to another page and make this work. There we go. Ooh. All righty. I'm sure there's an easier way to do what I'm doing, but this works for me. All righty. Helm of Power. F. Remember the light's coming from this direction, so the highlights are going to be on this side. Oop. 
I can turn that off. Uh, I don't need to close. Small gaps, we already know. Again. Drag this. So the shadows are over here. And then... Dink. Dink. Just... Messes things up. All right. All righty. Getting there. Getting there. Getting there. Wow. Whenever I have a white screen in front of me, just... Jeff, the undead artist. I swear, I just need fangs. It's a point of years. I can be the Nosferatu artist. Yes, yes. Pixels, give them to me. Anyway. Enough of that silliness. Now for some more silliness. What I'm going to do on this next romp over a couple of pages is I'm going to grab a probably a shadow color which is this color right here and then I'm going to grab this color here for the edging so that's that and then I'm going to get that white for a highlight I'm going to flip back over here Note to self, get rid of the lighting arrow. Get in here pretty deep. And then I'm just going to double click, which is going to select all of the black lines. There was a purple line in here, would not select it, for example. And since I know I want it all to be that color, we're going to do that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a, a different color. This green is one I work with quite a bit. And I'm going to start laying in where I want the highlights on this helmet. And I usually do like one big one, although that's not that big, and then a sliver of one. And then I come in here and highlight it. And I may adjust that depending on um, the way it looks and the way I'm feeling later. Uh, but we're going to do this and we're going to also do a sliver. I don't like that. Let's do it like that. You know what? don't like that. Let's grab this one which is bent the way I want it to be bent. Go get bent! Sir, yes sir! Put him right there. Then I'm going to put another one, but I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to make it less bent. And then I'm going to use two of these to make that little sliver, I hope. Let's see how that looks. And then the cool thing, like I said, it selects everything of that color. So if I do this, gets through. Well, I missed one. Oh, and apparently, hang on. No, 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 no. I missed one there too. So it must be this one that didn't cap. All right. There we go. And let's see if we can get everybody now. So we're going to zinc, zinc, zinc. And get rid of all that green. Ta-da! And we're going to make this that color. Now we're going to flip over and grab the shadow color. Yay! Has the paint dried yet? He's <laughs> already looking a little better. He's not quite where I want him to be, but he's getting better. And I have to do this every time I draw him. There are people who make a living pumping out a whole comic book in under a month. And that's pencils and inks and colors, and I'm just like, dang. And they're beautiful. They're not like, you know, rushed pieces of crap. They are gorgeous. 
All right. I really need to be faster. I, I know I'm not that fast as an artist. But dang. Those guys are monsters. And I love it. All right. Let's get back in here and mess with this helmet. Put a little there. And going back to the green, you're going to put a shadow layer here. Gonna... You know what? While I'm here, I'll do this one at the same time. Just to make it easier. We're hitting the 38 minute mark, just to let you guys know. I'm only going to go for an hour. And hopefully next stream I'll start with a, a commission. And what I'll do with that commission is I'll go from how I get the pencils into the computer and how I start drawing and getting everything ready. This will be a piece that will go on canvas print. I don't like that. And it's going to be a fun little commission. I'm actually very much looking forward to it. All right, that should be good. Let's lay in some shadows. All righty. Not done yet. Still stuff to do, but I think that looks better. Uh, yay, too fun. Balance between art and banter is hard. Yes, I know, but wait, I have an elixir that'll fix that. Bean squeezins. Suspended in H2O. Hot. Not as hot as it was, though. I've been talking too much. That's a great segue. If you guys want to support me, want to buy me a cup of coffee, or you want to buy some of my art, it is available on this uh, page, Chain Reaction Studios. There is a T-shirt section. Um... I have a great printer who will get them out to you at ASAP. They do good quality work. Uh, all the t-shirts that are in the gallery, which is under uh, albums, are available. We can put any of those on a mug or a pint glass. And I think I have a few designs on the page if you guys want to look at it. Uh, I also sell the artwork itself as prints as we saw earlier, not like this particular piece. Let's see if I can keep it from glaring the camera. This particular piece comes in a variety of sizes. Uh, I also do buttons, um, looking into getting into stickers. Uh, sadly, this collection of the Dungeon Notes comic is sold out. Fortunately, conventions are coming back around. And not only will I be doing a reprint of this premiere issue, it will become issue number one, no longer premiere. There will be an issue number two available. Now what this is is just a collection of my Dungeon Oak characters. Uh, Dungeon Notes is that moment just before or just after something horrible went wrong. Spiders, he says. What could happen, he says. Um... And if you play role-playing games, D&D uh, &D in particular, but any fantasy role-playing game or just role-playing games in general, grab a copy because I think it'll give you a, a chuckle. But uh, right now, they're not available in comics. But prints and t-shirts and mugs and, and cups and anything else I can find to put stuff on is available. <laughs> I have, oh, yes. Uh, I have buttons. Oop, 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 find it. Ooh, glare! Oh my goodness. I have buttons, pens. I have uh, a game which I talked about in the last stream. For those of you who are watching this on YouTube, you're going to have to go over to the Facebook page to see what I'm talking about because I don't want to bore people with that every time. It's a fun game. I also have a couple of other games. 
can't see change to large picture, but I'm still drawing. Okay, fine. I have had a request. And of course, it, my nose cho chose that moment to go Pfft. So what he wanted to do is for me to go into a bigger picture so that I can show uh, the artwork a little bit better. And the comic books, which I, sad to say, are, are sold out, but I was very happy to sell out of my first run. Uh, they will become available. Again, this is just where it happens to turn to. Because um, it's the middle of the book. And just remember, I'm an adventurer. I am the party thief. This means I will take crazy risks to rob ruins. And as a result, I have a lot of cleric bills, which is why I've been picking your pocket while you've been reading this. It's any material, sorry. Anyway, I'm going to go back. I keep forgetting I can flip. And I have this wonderful toy that I can just go, look, 3D Studio Max, look what we were working on. <laughs> so, back to what we were working on. And I think that's why I forgot to flip pages, is that I was so hyper-focused on what I was doing. And speaking of which, we're going to shade these. Fancy. I know, right? Look at that. Ooh, it's me. Ooh, it's animate. <laughs> I have to look up there to go into them. It's like, ooh, me. Ooh, animate. I'm like a toddler in a toy shop. It's horrible. All right, hang on. There we go. Cartoonists do it with sound effects. A lot of keyboards. All right, let's uh, put this in here. Oh yeah, that was that. Uh, I was like immediately thinking, uh, "This is your captain speaking. We are uh, flying a plane uh, with wings." How do those guys? Uh, do they go to training for that? They're so consistent. <laughs> All right. Uh, ooh, talk about it. That one's not going to need it as much, but this one is. E. All right. Okay. Deep. There we go. All righty. And at some point, I'll be grabbing all these lines and, and creating a. Um, a key line outline, which is what you see in some of the other pages. Alrighty. Let's see what he looks like here. That's not bad, not great. Why do I. Oh, that's right. I was wondering where these lines were coming from. I have all these weird lines showing up. This, this blue line and this green line, and this blue line. I have no idea where they came from. But I suspect it's part of the grid system. Let's zoom out here and see what they're doing. Oh, no. There's something else. Pew! I thought I accidentally pulled down a grid. I was like, ah, I don't know how to get those back. I suck. But, no, it's just the, for some reason, this background image thinks it's this big, and it really isn't. At this point, I really don't need it anymore. So, I'm going to go in here and get rid of the reference layer. Let me just, before I do that, make sure there's, it really is nothing I need on it. Just eyebrow placements. Let's do that real quick. I hate typing the word eyebrows. I don't know why. But we're going to uh, insert a layer, call it the evil name. I have no idea why I hate typing the word eyebrows. It's just annoying. I mean, it may be because I do it so often, but I type mouth and pupil and eyes and nose. Every time I draw this character, I create those layers. And for whatever reason, the word eyebrow just annoys me. It's not a bad word. I don't generally hate typing the word eyebrow. But for some reason, 
when I'm in Flash or Animate, it annoys me to no end to type that word. And there's no reason behind it. None. There's no reason for it. Alright, so let's go ahead and make those black. And let's unhide hair. So I get some color. Pink. 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 And then we can unhide everybody. Give him a little bit of holy crap. Alrighty. Fancy fancy. Uh, we are at 48 minutes. 49. So we've got about 10 minutes left here. Is there anything you guys want me to cover? Uh, well, we have uh, 10 minutes because watching, like I said, watching me do this is like watching paint dry. But it's fun, and I'm really hoping that I can show people what you can do with the software. A lot of people thought Flash Animate was strictly for making web pages that are no longer allowed because Flash is so hackable, which it is. Um, but I use it to create PNGs, and it's really hard to hack a PNG. You can embed stuff in a PNG. Bad stuff. But typically, PNGs don't have stuff in them. Um, a lot of people don't know that this piece of software is used... It's called Animate for a reason now, because it's used for animating uh, cartoons, full-length cartoons. Uh, My Little Pony, even before Animate became Animate, uh, was done in Animate, uh, the French anime called Foodie Cootie. I know for a fact the backgrounds were done in Flash because I was talking to one of the background artists on DeviantArt and he was posting his work and I was like, oh, this is great, this is great. And then like a year later the episode came out I was like, you jerk, I didn't know you worked on that. Cough it up next time. Anyway, here we are. I'm going to probably grab some freckles and put his freckles on. Because I've decided this character needed freckles. Give him a little more personality. So we're going to give him the freckles. Oh, well, more importantly, I'm just going to steal the freckles. And take them to the other picture, because why reinvent the wheel? Oh yes, I need to do whites of his eyes properly. Let's get out of this scene, flip over to this scene. Okay, for a second there I thought, I was like, why do I have a blank page? I thought both pages were blank. Alrighty, let's give him his freckles. This is the nice thing about working with a character over and over is that you just have all this stuff laying around. Uh, let's put them above the head layer. I know, probably misspelled, but I don't care. Okay, we're just going to paste them right here because they're way too big for this scene. And we're going to... Also, this way I get consistency in so much as from frame to frame, scene to scene... What is that? Okay. From frame to frame, scene to scene, everything is consistent you know his freckles are the same they're roughly in the same spot roughly the same colors I mean they will change what's this can I get rid of this now oh what layer is that on probably the body layer oh it's on the hand layer Oop. let's get rid of that and now we are officially done with reference so I'm going to get rid of that boink. And I need to color his neck. 
which we're going to make this color because it's going to be in shadows. Pink. Perfect. All right, I just need to color his shirt and his cuffs. Of course, I have a lot of highlighting and lighting to do, but there we go. We've got another seven minutes, so let's run over and do those real fast. That way we can say we at least got the character roughed out properly. Okay, come over to here. Woo, where am I? Who do you want to be today? Who do you want to be? A little oingo boingo. Sung horribly. All right. Not a big fan of the shadow. I may come back and redo his shirt. I don't like the way that came out. But for now... Dink. A lot of, I should just grab this brush and drag it into the scene. It'd just be a lot easier. Next time I'll do that. But this has been fun. some reason it puts the shadow on that side of them. Who knew? And ink. There we go. Oops. Not what I want. Zoom. V for victory. I'm hitting the V button so that I can manipulate things. And I'm not going to go flipping over to one side for now just get a color that I think is right there. Yep, definitely same tonal value. Tonal value. Now I do need to change all these black lines to their appropriate colors. I can do at least with the neck. Although we don't see the neck that much. Dink. Dink. We'll do that one. Let's color the tongue. Tongue. That's how I remember how to spell it. I say tongue. And then this line. Can, we'll just leave that alone for now. All right. So he's roughed out for the moment. We need to work on the map and the details on the map to keep it consistent. I need a few sparkles from where he's closed the map. And he's like, I need to go tell someone about this. Is basically what that face is. He's like, he's like, he's gobsmacked. He's like, that's, you know, this thing just blew his mind away. So, he's roughed out, just needs some love. And he fits in the scene a lot better now. What do you guys think? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he is at least centered in the scene a little bit better. He's not the greatest work of, of art. Uh, still not happy with his far back arm, but it will do the job for now. Um, I'm probably going to work on this scene next, and then I've got to figure out what I really want this to look like. I have a, an idea of a back bar where Sherman's hanging out. And it may have been a brawl, there may not have been a brawl. I don't think I have a lot of room to show what I want to show in here. And then, of course, he's going to show it to uh, Sherman, the, the dwarf. Sherman. He's uh, one of the uh, brothers. We have Sherman and his bigger brother, Panzer. Clankety clank, I'm a tank. These are the Tank Brothers. Uh, so because the person who played this character, she always spent that extra point on strength, and the DM allowed it, and so her, her dwarves, all of them, always had 19 strengths. Sherman could bench press a panzer in real life. <laughs> so, yes, we're going to figure this out. I don't know when I'll be able to show you this page again because like I said I want to go ahead and start working on that commission piece and getting people interested on the process from pencil to roughly this point. Um, 
it was a simple background that I've requested, so I'm not going to be doing a lot of background. I'm going to try to come up with something fun, but they eventually want to probably put it on a t-shirt in addition to being on a canvas print. So I'm going to have some fun just doing characters, or more importantly, char characters of my choosing holding very specific weapons, which is a part of the uh, the reason the piece is being drawn. So I'm really looking forward to that. Plus, they're unusual weapons that I don't normally draw. So, I mean, glaive is not hard, but make it cool, you know, and define cool. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, is there anything you guys want me to cover real quick? As we're coming up to the end of this live stream. I've watched other artists um, live streams and they are pretty much the same because we get so hyper focused on what we're doing we tend to forget to talk or we tend to um, share the passions that we feel sometimes because we're busy in the moment I love drawing these characters no clue on software <laughs> well like I said eventually I'm going to be doing stuff over here and I'm going to be working in 3D Studio Max, uh, working on portfolio pieces. I have all these really low poly models. This one's not as low as it could be, but this is a fairly, it's only 208 polys, which is 416 tries. That's pretty high in my, when I did this, that was a pretty high count, but I was, I had just started working on and it was only ever going to be seen from like this angle right here so I had just started working on textures and just where I wanted to go and I was still trying to get a feel for them and the detail that was needed and it's just a real basic little uh, soldiers barracks tower kind of thing but eventually I'm going to be working on some more high-end models showing off 3d studio max this is an older version of 3d studio max but still it's a viable version for teaching on how to use the tools uh, i've taught how to use this piece of software for for many years uh, mentoring other uh, artists so i look forward to showing this process to people who may not have been exposed to it normally but for now that's it we are kind of done Thank you very, very much for coming and joining me. For those of you who are watching this after the fact, uh, please like, share, follow, uh, point, giggle, whatever you like. Um, thank you. I'm excited about showing off uh, some other things as well. But uh, for now, I want you all to be safe out there. Know that you are loved and that you do matter. Period. You matter. And you are worthy of that love. For now, you guys have an amazing day, and I will catch you next week. Take care. Bye.